dirt up first. We got a pegboard. It's gonna go two feet up on top. And then we're gonna put two shelves in. So we're doing the pegboard first and then we're gonna work our way down to the shelves. Yep, yeah, we went and got these cut. We had an eight foot, four by eight foot, and we got it down cut to two feet by what, 50 inches? Yep. So we didn't have, since our trailer comes to a point, it's, it's obviously not gonna be able to come down at an angle point like this, but it'll be all right. It'll be pretty close to the top. So you ready to start? Let's go. All right. All right, I'm gonna make me a couple 24 inches. <laughs> It's nice and warm in here now. Yeah, Not toasty, but nice and warm. It's comfortable. Yeah. The empty space will be filled with lots of goodies. Sorry like that. Yeah. Where the pink lines are, yeah, okay. All right, we got our outlines where our pegboard's gonna hang. Yeah. Now I'm just oh, gonna yeah. drill me some pilot holes so I don't split the wood. Pull these. I think three will be doing it. Now right. that wood won't split. Nice if I had. See, we marked it out a little bit with the pink sharpie. Nice we had two of these cordless drills. Yeah. What brand is that? The DeWalt? The DeWalt that don't stay charged. It's all brand new. Yes. It, it, it does not hold a charge. What we were trying to do the floors last night, we got two of them down, but we're jumping to get this done today. But it does not hold a charge for nothing. Yeah, one screw. Hold on. I dropped your thing got it all right no, oh here well no you dropped a washer i gave you the washer mm. all right. they're nice tight here we go these screws are two inches long it's real scary Scary screws, man, to put two inch screws into a, a trailer like this. We're putting it through this and then that little bit of trim and then this plywood. And then we're hitting the studs, or not the studs, the, what do you call it? The metal? Yeah, it's a stud. Oh, the metal stud yeah. for the trailer? No, we call it a stud. It's so we guesstimate that it won't go through. So far, knock on wood, we have not. Still trying to get me a haircut. <laughs> well, you won't let me cut it. I used to cut it all the time, but I don't have trimmers. They broke. You want to use the hedge trimmers to cut my hair. It's not no, I do thing. not. I want to say I am a darn good hair okay. cutter, but my. Not yet. I am recording you. Yeah. yeah, so they can get your screw up. So you quit blaming me. I have it on video. We're on our second board. Let me get the screws. Watchers. Come on, Pokey. I just had my 34th birthday party, so I'm tired. <laughs> yeah, 34 plus a lot more. Getting the fair faucet here blowing with a drill. Okay. Well, let me guess. You lost the screws again? The you know, it'd be helpful if you just brought the whole pack over here instead of having to walk back and forth for each one. You know, that would save a little time. Yeah. Well, 
I'm the owner of my own company. I still got a Co-owner. This is 5050. I'm baby. the owner and I still got a boss. <laughs> it is 5050. Just like our marriage. It looks good. Obviously, we're going to have the top off at an angle and showing because, like I said, our trailers, you know, slopes down. Yeah. And, but that, here, scoot over, to, can you scoot over to the right a little bit? That looks pretty darn good. Hey, let me put this up. All right, Whoa. I'm going to hang up. Huh? I'm going to stop this so I can help him. I thought that bag was supposed to catch more of it. Well, I'll just have to clean it up. All right, for the middle board, he cut us, show it to him. It's a little bit less, what do you call it, narrow? Narrower. Yeah, so we don't take up a whole bunch of space for um, putting more pegs in. Because if we had a wide one, then we have baskets and stuff we want to put up there. All right, you ready? Where are you want this one? Right there, put that right in the middle. Right here? Right there, follow the line, put it on the base of the line. Or actually that one, is that, the, wait, did you grab the right one? Is that two foot? That can't be two foot. You grabbed the wrong one, could watch. Good. Nope, uh-huh. What would you do without me? We'd have crooked stuff. There you go. Hold it up to that one just to make sure it's the same. You don't trust me? Wait, wait, what is it? Ronnie right. Yeah. Okay, boss. Well, I had my son doing this one time for me. I put a drill through my finger. Stevie did? Ah, uh, very funny, boss. So, let me tell y'all what actually happened, all right? So, here's what happened. You know, we're working on this project. I feel what project it is. He's like, here, hold it like this. I'm holding, I'm holding it. Get ready to drill. Drill the screw through. And he's the one that, like, shifted. And I kind of put the screw drill bit through his fingernail. And uh, he cried about it for like a couple months. So that's the story. I don't remember that. Oh, so it's wow. just best off doing it by myself, I think. My son will laugh because he edits my videos and he'll hear that. And he'll remember putting a right through my finger a drill bit. See, the reason I don't remember that is because you don't tell me because this guy right here is terrified of doctors and shots and needles and hospitals. And unless he's like on his deathbed, he will not go. All right, we just put the pegboard in on that one. Too much um, Just with two screws, just in case we have to move it because we're gonna see how it's gonna go with the nettle. Next um, piece of board. Yeah. Cause this comes to a point, so we have to be careful how we're doing this but it looks good so far not bad for eyeballing like up here like i said up on the top we can't avoid that because the way our trailer comes down to a point and then at a point here but it looks pretty straight to me good. looks damn good <laughs> it sure does all right let me hold that board right there all right you got it So here's where we're at so far. We got this loose now, which is the two screws. He's putting the boards in, um, the, the two foot length for the one by fours. This one's a skinnier one. It ended up being a little bit shorter, but that's okay. We didn't want to have it too much of a wide one so we don't lose any more space if we want to put baskets or anything in here. So he's got the second one in and now he's got to do the last one. But looks good. So good. See? Like this, Closer. Okay, I'm going to have to stop the video so I can have them line it up for the start. Yep. Nope. Okay, it's only got a couple screws on it, but here's how it ended up turning out. We ended up having to eyeball it because the problem we ran into was since it comes into a V right here, 
unless we did like a angle. Is it a 45 or 90 degree angle? Like with the wood, which we can't. We had, and then we wanted the peg holes to line up kind of close or like level. So it's off a little bit from the line we had, but only because we wanted the, it to look even from behind here. But I think it looks pretty darn good. What do you think? I love it. Looks pretty darn even without having to be able to get an accurate measure with a leveler. Now he's just gonna put the final screws in to hold it in place. But I love it. It's gonna be more places to hook for storage. We got some baskets, some peg hooks, and then our shelf is coming next. Right here we're gonna have, so. This is, we, we've been like trying to research to figure out how to do this. There's a few videos for shelves and we were grateful for their help, but I haven't seen nobody do a pegboard in their trailer. So this is new on us, but we wanted to make it like a one-stop shop here for everything we need. We can carry most of our stuff with us because there's so many times we're, we're at a property and then they'll come out and they'll ask us, hey, can you trim, trim some branches, a tree or do extra stuff? And it just sucks when you have to go all the way back to your, the shop and get your equipment where if you have it with you, you can just boom, do it right there. Saves gas and time. So that was our goal and to try and have more space for our stuff. So I love it. You like it? I love it. You did a damn good job. Yes, it is. Got the pegboard hung up. Got a couple baskets in there. Yeah, it looks so good. Yeah, handy dandy. Sure, these will bounce around a little bit. But so we're going to have a shelf should there. stay in there. Yeah. Good Picked up some baskets. There. I need to get another one of these to fill the spot because, you know, I'm very organize i wouldn't call it ocd but maybe a little ocd where it's got to be the same side on both sides it just looks a little empty but i love it he has more stuff you know for more things like even where's it here we i don't know about you guys but we have our bubba that we use faithfully that my dad ran over they get ran over by a, what 450 truck what kind of anyways oh a, yeah. a truck but we can never not have our drink mix. So this will be perfect to hold our Kool-Aids, you know, Tang, whatever, lemonades. He usually likes lemonade too, you know, but it's just more space for storage, you know. Um, I love it. Like a measuring tape, pencil holder, sharpener. I got all these at Home Depot today. Like I said, I'm gonna go get another set here just to put it here just so it looks even, but. I love it. You did a good job. I think it turned out great. It's pretty, it was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be, even though we had to eyeball it. And, you know, because like I said, it comes to a point, you know, and then our ceiling sloops down or sloops down. We got just, a weird ceiling. Yeah. And then we live on a hill. So the level is always off. So, but for eyeball wise, I think it's pretty darn good.